If we are going to find that dinosaur, we need some protection, like armor and weapons. Hey, what's over there? I don't know. Do you want me to go and look? Help yourself. Okay, I'm going. Wait a second. There's actually some armor in here and a shield. Well then, let me see. What? 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 What happened to him? Where's here's his gun? Where could he? The armor! Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Hello guys, Antonio Zola here. Welcome to a new video. Oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. I got the superposable Indoraptor figure. This Indoraptor figure is one of the main reasons I was so excited for this toy line. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. It's got 17 points of articulation. It is so terrifying looking, and it's 100% movie accurate. So I'm sure you want to know what his packaging looks like. Yes, it is a he. It's been confirmed. Well, because all the animals in Jurassic Park are female. Here it is. It's very unique compared to all of the other packaging. Um, all of the other packaging, there is a volcanic eruption in the background. Now, spoiler alert for the second half of the movie. I'll give you three seconds to skip to the next part of the video. Oh my gosh, my mom, my, forgive me, my mom is trying to trim my dog and my dog's being sort of stubborn, so you might hear that in the background. Oh my gosh. Don't say I didn't warn you about the spoilers. So anyways, the Indoraptor is actually, oh my gosh, Viva, what are you doing? What the heck are you doing? What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh. Ah. What are you doing? I'm trying to review an Indoraptor. Ah. Wait, what is that smell? Oh, your breath smells like feet. Okay, I highly apologize for that quite adorable little distraction that who smells like feet. So anyways, um, don't say I didn't warn you about the spoilers once again. So the Indoraptor is actually not on Isla Nublar. It's actually at this mansion. The entire plot from the movie is a volcano is awakening on the island and everybody, like there's this dinosaur protection group by like that was founded by Bryce Dallas Howard's character. And like they're, they're going to the island to save the dinosaurs, but the entire mission is completely hijacked by all the, all the mercenaries that were hired and they're all taken to this, um, ma this mansion. It's called the Lockwood Manor and they're all gonna be auctioned off to millionaires. And one of the creatures that's being auctioned was actually one, the Indoraptor. And it was like, it, it spent its whole life in, its, in a cage. So it's always had aggression towards humans. It's cause it was always abused when it was a little, a little dino. So yeah, it's a really aggressive and evil, psychopathic hybrid dinosaur. Yeah. So anyways, the reason, that's why I think the packaging, hang on, get out of here, interrupt, just a second. That's why I think the packaging looks like this. It's because 
it's like the forest all around like the Lockwood Manor. So yeah, that's it's because if you look in the trailers, the the mansion is kind of in the middle of nowhere. So it kind of makes sense that there'd be forest all over like everywhere around it. So yeah. Anyways, on the back, it's the same blue coloration. It says Indoraptor Movie Authentic Posability. That's interesting. And you get this really cool graphic image of it walking on all fours. And then you get this really awesome graphic image of the Indoraptor roaring. Also on the bottom of the box, it says some assembly required. Now I already did that. You have to just peg in this, the tip of the tail into the upper part of the tail. Uh, they do, they disassemble the tail so it'll fit in the box, which is actually pretty brilliant. That saves you a lot of shelf space. Also, this toy is made in China. China, 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 I have to have my toys from China. All right, enough about rambling about the box and how cool it is. So anyways, let's get to what y'all have been waiting for. The superposable Indoraptor figure review. Taking a closer look at the sculpt, you can see this is a really impressive figure. You can see all of the sculpted folds and creases and all the lovely looking snake-like scales. It goes all the way down, look I can zoom in for you guys. The sculpting goes all the way to the tip of its lovely looking tail. Man, um, if the tail kind of looks like the body of a ball python almost, I think I'm going to make a theory that this Indoraptor hybrid is part ball python. It's because it's got very, very snake-like scales specific to a ball python, so yeah. I'm pretty sure this thing might be part snake. And this is the one of the best examples of the sculpt. Look at those feet. Are you kidding me? I mean, just, it's so good. Oh my gosh, that was the worst voice crack. You can see all those lovely looking plates-like scales that go all the way to the tip of the toes, all the way to those rather gnarly looking claws. Now they are doled out at the end, so it's safe for kids. I might sharpen those out with a razor or something, but um, the, re the reason they still look sharp, even though they're doled out on the end, it's because they are just really long. The Indoraptor has super long toe claws. Once again, this toy is called the Superposable Indoraptor, and it truly lives up to its name a lot. It's got 17 points of articulation, and we're going to go over those, of course. First of all, the mouth can open and close. I think that is honestly a requirement in dinosaur toys. And then uh, the head is on a ball joint, so it can move 360 degrees. And there's also a ball joint in the neck, so you can move it around, like sort of a, make it look around like this, like really creepy looking motion. And um, the arms, now this arm has the same articulation as this arm, so I'm only, I'm only gonna go over one. So the forearm does a 360 degree swivel. And um, on the uh, elbows, um, it goes, it erects this far straight, and then it goes this far up. And the wrist has articulation too. Goes up, down, twists. Yeah, this thing is packed with articulation. And the hips move with 360, oh, 360 degrees. However, I'm not going to do it. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Um, and uh, it's also got articulation in here. Goes right like that. And finally, ankle articulation. And then uh, there's a lot of articulation in the tail. Wow. Um, so the tail can move to the left that far, to the right. It moves really far to the right that far. And, um, and the tail can move a lot. It's because it's on a ball joint. Oh, also I just noticed the tail is made of like a, like a sort of pliable rubber. That's pretty cool. It's a real feel skin. Oh, and it's worth noting that in the joints, if you move it to the left or right, the golden stripe, the paint will continue on. So you don't have to worry about the paint looking strange. 
So you can move it as much as you want and there will still be a golden stripe, which is pretty nice. They easily could have missed that. So you could get some pretty gnarly looking posability with this thing and I bet you can make some really cool stop motions with it too. Also, if you really need it, then you can go ahead and uh, scan the QR code for the app. Which I don't even understand why people even want to do it from videos. It's because, I don't know, just buy your own. Dang. So that pretty much tops off this review of the Super Posable Indoraptor. Now I do have a couple of more reviews of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys coming. There's a, a round of two. And after I've reviewed those, I'm going to take a break from buying them so I can save some money until June 21st. And then I might get a couple of more and review some, okay? If you are interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews.